What the hell did we just do? <laughs> the front seat. Max holy Force, cow. holy. We just did Max Force on the front seat and it was probably the best launch that I've experienced on a coaster. Oh I gosh. think it, I, it felt better than <laughs> Top Bell Dragster. I mean, you were pressed against my your seat all the way until you got into the inversion. <laughs> I mean, what, what is your first thoughts on it? Uh, my, my heart gonna fall out. <laughs> <laughs> Keeping myself so busy Pushing out the misery Trying to find the peace in me I wanna be, I wanna be I wanna find myself Hey everyone, this is Kala Hailbenz from Destination Thrills and a few weekends ago, I had the pleasure to ride Max Force at Six Flags Great America for the first time. And let's just say this coaster surprised me in many ways. I will be giving you my full thoughts and rating of this ride in this full review video. Max Force opened at Six Flags Great America in Gurney, Illinois just a few months ago. This brand new ride is manufactured by SNS and is an air powered launch coaster. This coaster holds the record for the fastest acceleration of any roller coaster in North America going zero to 78 miles per hour in just under two seconds. It has a max height of 175 feet and a track length of just 1,800 feet. It also features five wicked inversions. I was only able to ride this coaster twice during my trip, once in the front and once in the back with both rides being in the cold at night. Let's just say there was a lot of anticipation building up for our first ride. One cool feature is the loud boom that is created from the air powered launch. It really gets you all amped up for this ride. And with the launch being so close to the station, you get a glimpse of the craziness you are about to experience right before you strap in. After our first ride, I can say that my breath had been taken away. Everything happens so quickly that by the time your brain catches up, the ride is over. So let's get into Max Force's layout. Max Force starts you out with that record breaking acceleration. There is so much anticipation before the launch, you just sit there on the launch pad for what seems like an eternity. Then with really no warning at all, you bolt down under the train tracks. This launch is powerful. The moment you take off, your back is plastered against the seat back. You feel an immediate adrenaline rush, and at that point, everything is a blur as you race to the first element. Obviously, this launch does not have the same speed as Top Throw Dragster and King Ka, but I feel like you get the same exact adrenaline rush and intensity on Max Force's launch because of the acceleration. This is certainly the highlight of the ride and honestly this moment is so intense that you don't really know what is happening afterwards. Now, unlike Dragster and Ka, instead of going into a large top hat, Max Force goes into a unique double inversion element. This section crawls at the top which gives you great hang time and views of the park from upside down. I found this to be a fun spot and a little disorienting. You then gain your speed coming down from the inversion which pulls some intense g-forces. As you bank right, you snap into a heartline roll. The inversion happens so fast that if you blinked, you would really not know what you just did. Finally, you fly up into another double inversion called the Max Dive Loop. It's interesting because you twist to your left 270 degrees and stall briefly at 90 degrees bank to your right. Then you twist back in the opposite direction, 90 degrees, into a half loop. This is another fantastic spot of hang time. I do wish that the brakes weren't in the middle of this half loop, so you would end with some speed, but I didn't find it to be much of a detractor from the overall experience. So let's get into my ratings. If you are new to my reviews, I will be rating Max Force on five categories, each on a scale of zero, bad, to five, excellent. The categories include intensity, fun, uniqueness, comfort, and duration. Finally, I will give you my overall ratings of this coaster on the same scale. 
All right, let's start with intensity. The launch is forceful in the most unexpected way. You really have little time to think or react, it just happens. And you are pinned to the seat back the entire way. That is what is so awesome about this launch. Besides the launch, there are also some strong positive G moments in a few spots as well. So I would say this ride gets a 4.5 in intensity, and that would just be honestly for the launch alone. Now let's go into the fun rating. Obviously the launch and the inversions give you that thrilling experience. And you can just tell everyone loved this ride. They were cheering and clapping at the end as they were pulling into the station. It was just, you could tell everyone had such enthusiasm after this ride. There's also that fear factor that's added when you're just standing in line watching the coaster launch over and over and over aggressively. And like I said, that launch is right next to the station so you get to see everyone's reaction as they're taking off. It just looks so intense in the beginning. So that anticipation as you're waiting to blast off certainly adds that fun factor, that fear factor to the ride. The only thing keeping this from a perfect five is a short layout. So I will rate Max Force a four for fun. Moving on to uniqueness. This ride is so different from the other roller coasters. It has some very unique inversions, including the Max Force dive loop. Max Force is an experience you won't find in many other places, so of course, I'm gonna give it a five for uniqueness. Let's move on to comfort. Although the launch on this ride is super intense, the restraints and the seats make the experience very comfortable. This is my first time riding a new generation SNS sit-down coaster, so I was unsure how the ride experience would be, but overall it was butter smooth. The track was great, the seats were great, the restraints were perfect, so I'm gonna give it a five out of five for comfort. Now let's go on to duration. Overall, the ride time is very bad for this coaster. However, I do believe the designers did a great job with the layout, fitting so much in the narrow space. They had three elements and five inversions total after a super massive launch. This coaster offers more than Top Thrill Dragster and King Da Ka, which just do a top hat afterwards. So I really do like how much they were able to fit in such a short track length. So I'm gonna go middle of the road here and give Max Force a 2.5 for duration. Finally, for my overall rating, I give Max Force a four out of five. This is the most intense roller coaster at Six Flags Great America, in my opinion. I think if there were a few more elements and even one element of airtime, this coaster could easily be a five out of five. But I think this coaster is perfect for Six Flags Great America and really completes the coaster lineup. So these are my thoughts on Max Force. I would say this coaster ranks just above King Da Ka and Top Thrill Dragster at the moment. I'm still kind of thinking about it in my head. And definitely Max Force is in the top five for Six Flags Great America coasters. Honestly, it wouldn't surprise me if some of the viewers put in the comments below that this is the number one for them at this park. Well, thank you for watching this video. Let me know in the comments below what you think of Max Force and where it ranks among the coasters that you have ridden. Also, don't forget that if you like this video to give it a like and subscribe to Destination Thrills, the destination for all the latest theme park news and content. I'm Cullah Hale. Have a good one. Uh.